guys, so I am back! Yes, I am back from Florida, and wow, what a whirlwind of a week. Um, this is gonna be more of a vlog type video. I know this is my main channel, but it's totally more related to this than just random stuff. So I figured I'd put it up on here. Um, and yeah, so as you guys know, uh, I've been in Florida for the past couple weeks and I flew home last Tuesday. So a week ago when you see this video. Um, I had a night flight. I got in just before midnight or got home just before midnight. And um, I thought I was gonna have a very quiet week of unpacking, just chilling out, whatevs, getting back into filming and stuff. But I had a really awesome opportunity, knock on my door, and I said yes. So, um, I don't know if many of you guys will know this in the Toronto area because I know a lot of people in Toronto have no idea what this is, but there is something called Fashion Art Toronto. And uh, I will leave all the links down below so you guys can read up on it and all that kind of jazz. But they had their 10th anniversary um, showing this past week. Uh, it was from the 21st to 25th, so it was Tuesday through Saturday. And I had the opportunity to go Wednesday through Saturday. Um, obviously, I wasn't even in the country when, when it started for the Tuesday show. But a friend of mine, uh, Leslie Hampton, so I will leave all her details down below, is an up-and-coming designer. And she had some of her work photographed and the artist who photographed it was accepted into the show. Uh, it had, there was photography aspect, there was fashion on film, there was runway collections, and a variety of um, artistic mediums. So Leslie's designs are known as wearable art, so they're not like your typical regular skirt or whatever, there's, there's a lot that goes into them and the design process and all that jazz. And I actually got to model one of her pieces for the fashion show that I used to run on my campus a few years ago. It's called Style and Profile. So I've seen this collection before. It was her spring and summer collection. Um, and it's awesome. I love it. And I had the opportunity to wear various pieces of her collection throughout the week. So that is why I went. I went to be her little model. She wasn't obviously in the show, but we had a lot of people stop us and ask, like, when was she showing her collection? And it was just, it was really awesome. I also got to network a bit as well, hand out some of my business cards. So if you are now on my channel or anything like that because you saw us at FAT, then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and it was just really, really fun. So I got to wear um, four different pieces from the collection. And they range from kind of just something you see at the club to really like OTT awesomeness. And I think one of the greatest experiences and fun bits for me was all of the street photographer, street photographers um, leading up into the entranceway for the show. So we had lots of little paparazzi moments, which really were probably the highlight for me. Um, I had never been to a fashion show before this, so I got to pop that cherry, and uh, it was such a great experience. I think, for my personal taste, the first night that I went to, so day two of Fashion at Toronto, was my favorite. It had the most, or the largest amount of pieces in the different collections that spoke to me, something that I'd be like, I want this, I want this, I want this. Um, I will have uh, lots of different blog posts written about this past few days. Um, I don't know if I'm going to just do day by day because that might take a while, so I might just do highlights of the whole few days. I will have um, a separate post of the outfits that I wore of Leslie's designs, and again, I will send or share all of her links in the post down below, and you guys really need to check her out, especially like if you're GTA, do it. Do it, do it, do it. She's awesome. Um, she also does cosplay costumes. You can commission her to do a variety of things, so definitely go help a girl out. Go go check her out. Give her a thumbs up on Facebook. Don't forget to tell her I sent you. And yeah, so basically heading down there. I'm gonna show you guys the schedule for the week. This was one of the design, they're not designs, but this was one of the promotional pieces. Um, the hashtag for the show this year was Made in Canada. So if you look that up on like Twitter or Instagram, like you'll see so many things. And it was just really, really fun. So my overall experience was fantastic. I thought it was great. Um, inside of Daniel Spectrum, which is where it was held, they had um, some of the photography art that was taken and accepted into the show posted up. There were some fashion pieces. Uh, some of the pieces actually from this shoot. Uh, there was fashion shows that actually the first night we got to, the first night I went, I was wearing the um, copper plating dress which I had worn in the previous fashion show uh, and everybody, everybody was stopping us and that was probably one of the most photographed looks 
for us out of the week of what we are wearing. Uh, we had everyone stopping us, trying to fill the outfits. Uh, we actually got bumped up to front row for all three shows that night. So we got pretty spoiled on the first day, or my first day. And uh, I felt I had, <laughs> it's funny, for this outfit in particular, it's not a smile and pose outfit. It's more a Tyra Banks, Smize, and Victoria Beckham serious face. Um, so even on the runway, because of where we were sitting, we're actually in the background of a lot of photographer shots, and I laugh because I had that Victoria Beckham face on where I was like, my head was going back and forth watching it, it was, it was really, it was amusing to me. I don't know, everyone else had the same serious look on their face. Um, we did get bumped up to front row a couple of times throughout the week, but as the week progressed, obviously it was getting closer to the weekend, so a lot more media was showing up. Um, to the events, therefore the front row media seats were being filled by those who actually belong in them. But next year, um, I can actually go as somebody from media because of the fact that I'm a blogger. Um, I got a guest pass this year because Leslie had a guest pass and there's no point in me getting a media seat if I couldn't sit with her. Because we wanted to A, be together and because we were wearing her collection, I wanted to be seated with her. But I'm going to have all those photos posted. And it was just really, really great. It was a great experience for me. Um, I definitely got to meet a few people who um, are also in the industry one way or another. And um, so, yeah, I'm... Oh, I don't know. I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of late nights, though, despite the fact that um, the show ended usually about 10.30 or so. Um, my friend Les and I would go to a pub just down the street from there. And the first night... Um, one of the girls who was working there kind of looked at us because I had a black smoky eye and I just looked really overdone and I was just in a t-shirt or a tank top, a leather jacket and leggings so I didn't really match what was going on. But as the week went on we went every day afterwards and then Friday night they had the after party which we made a quick appearance at but it wasn't picking up as fast as we thought it might and we were hungry. We didn't want to become hangry so we went to the pub at 8 and then on Saturday, I actually went out afterwards and had a really late night. So I finally caught up on all my sleep. And now I have to sit down and write all the blog posts and get everything out for that. Uh, I'm going to be flooding my Instagram more with photos from the week. So definitely check that out. Post some of my favorites. I've been following some of the brands and collections um, online. So definitely check out any tags I have on Instagram to follow suit if you want to look at them up. Um, definitely connected with some of the models and got some other like fan photos and stuff like that but overall totally enjoyed my experience and we'll definitely definitely be trying to go again next year um leslie's actually hoping to submit work for it so maybe she'll be in the show next year fingers crossed um and then i'll be able to wear some of her other designs to the show as well as watching her and maybe be in front row for it so, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. This didn't quite come out the way I felt like it was going to come out for a video, but I just wanted to share it anyways. And um, for me, it was, I did no research beforehand of the brands and stuff like that. I just went in blank slate to see exactly what I would see. So some things were definitely not my taste, but I can still appreciate the art in them and the effort they put into them. But I'm really looking forward to Leslie being able to be in that show. Um, she's going to be starting her Masters of Fashion at Ryerson in September. So lots of fun things to come from her. Totally stoked. Um, totally want to support her. So if you like Made in Canada designs or you want to support some home talent, definitely, definitely go and support Leslie. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the outfits. Um, and yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat rambly, totally disorganized video about my experience there. Um, if you have any other questions, I will try to answer them down below. But, in general, totally recommend being able to go. Totally recommend trying to go. You can do drop in just for one day, which is originally what I was going to do. I just came in to wear the copper dress and then realized that she needed someone to model it for her for the rest of the week. So I got a guest pass, but you can totally drop in for any of the days, especially if you do your research beforehand and know that there's a certain collection that you want to see or a certain piece of work. Um, so don't hesitate. Totally do it. Do it up. Next year I'll have planned in advance of this and I'll hopefully get content up faster um, during the week while going there. But I'd honestly just come home, I would crash out, wake up the next morning, be up for like an hour or two and then start getting ready and doing it all over again. 
Also, there was a number of really cool makeup designs uh, for the various shows, so I'm hoping to actually be able to film some of those. So they're definitely not everyday makeup looks, so prepare yourself for the avant-garde, over-the-top, colorful, wacky, kooky makeup looks. Um, but I'm super stoked. I'm hoping to do maybe a few videos. I don't know if I'm going to do every look, or maybe I'll just do one or two videos and then some just blog posts. But I'll also have some makeup looks from what I wore, because I did one really cool look on my third day that involved blue lips. So if you want to see that look, definitely check out my Instagram because there's already a couple photos of it up. Um, I'm hoping to film that soon as well, so it'll be kind of like a Fashion Art Toronto themed um, videos up over the next week and a half or so, or maybe two weeks. We'll see how many videos come up. So definitely look forward to that. And also, as always, if you have some video requests, leave them down below. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook, any of those, uh, because I would love to film more of what you guys want to see. We'll have a new video up this Thursday of my Florida fashion. I didn't get to film while I was down there. It didn't work out the way I wanted to. So I still want to show you guys some of the outfits I wore. There's one or two outfits that I just, just show photos of because I don't own the pieces. They were my mom's. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!